Well, it's one of the most picturesque fishing spots in all of California. I'm John Bartell, making a little pit stop at Convict Lake. The Northern Paiute tribe called this area land of flowing water. It's here that the Stark Mountains funnel snowmelt from the Eastern Sierra down into Convict Lake and into the Inyo National Forest. The cool, clear water is accessible to anyone driving along Highway 395 and Mammoth Lakes. But as picturesque as it is, Convict Lake has a dark past. There was a group of convicts that escaped the prison in Carson City, and they ran down here. The convicts that Forest Service interpreter Keith Dolly is talking about were 29 murderers and thieves who escaped a Nevada prison in 1871. Hot on their trail was a posse led by Sheriff Robert Morrison, who cornered the escapees at the base of the mountain and the edge of the lake. I believe they were captured, but in the ensuing shootout, uh, Sheriff Morrison was killed. From then on, the waters were known as Convict Lake, and the tallest peak was named after Sheriff Morrison. Today, Convict Lake is known for swimming, boating, and of course, fishing. It's said that some of the state's largest trout lurk below these waters. Convict Lake has a number of wild fish stories. One popular one being that of Horgan. He was a massive brown trout that many people say they've seen, yet uh, no one has actually caught the fish. The Three Mile Lake Loop gives you access to all sorts of fishing spots, and the boardwalk at the west end of the lake leads you to an entry point of the John Muir Wilderness and a beautiful grove of quaking aspen, which puts on a spectacular color show in the fall. All that will turn a brilliant yellow. From the cool waters of Convict Lake, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.